Welcome back at the 8 seed tournament in Great Falls. The Belt Boys and Girls are top seeds. They got the inside track to advance the divisionals, but as always, it's one of the more competitive districts in the state, so you never know what's going to happen. Like in this game, the nightcap, Denton Geyser Stanford, Geraldine Highwood in the final girls matchup of the day. All rivals in the early going. Sharp passing finds Asia Rowland inside. It's 5 nothing in the first quarter. More good passing here, and again they find Rowland. She scores another two. It's 18 to three rivals, but DGS would storm back. Sydney Von Bergen nailing the corner three. She had a great game. Next time down, Macy Econom off, the, off on the three, but Addie Woodhall grabs the board, gets the bucket, lead back to single digits. Bearcats trailed by eight, entering the fourth quarter, but they rally with 22 points in the final frame. Von Bergen led all scores with 14, and DGS wins 41. 38 overcoming that 15 point deficit. All right, here's the uh, other uh, girls matchup that we had. Belt girls have won nine straight district titles, opening against Winnet Grass Range. Huskies relentless here. Colby Pimperton to Shelby Paulson in the corner. Connects for uh, the game's first points. That's Kylie Marcus off from deep. Abby Glico with the board and the foul and the follow. 11 nothing. Belt Rams get on the board here. Tia Stahl drives, hits the floater over the defense. She had five points, but no stopping Belt today. Pimperton from the wing knocks in the three. She had 15 points to lead all scores. Belt rolls 75-14. Uh, one game we couldn't get on camera. Roy Winifred winners as well over Centerville. Uh, 60 to 18. So your semifinal matchups are set. Well, it's winner go home time for all of our teams in class B and C. And we're going to go back to uh, some of those first round matchups. We're talking about the uh, boys in belts taking on Geraldine Highwood. Belt already up by 30 in the third quarter. Aiden McDaniel to a wide open Bridger Vogel down low. Rivals counter in the post. They go to Orin Harris. And uh, he hits his, just his team's fourth field goal. They only had five the entire game. Huskies moving inside. Vogel from the top of the arc, outside rather. Game high 13 for Vogel. And belt rolls to the semis. It's going to be 54 12 is your final. How about the next boys game? The 1230 matchup. Roy Winifred and Winnet Grass Range up next. Outlaws, they got all kinds of folks who can fill it up. This guy, Justin Stoltz, count the bucket and the foul. Monster game from him. We'll tell you how big later on. Then Fordyce, Tanner Fordyce uh, with the steal coast to coast for the lay in. He had 16 points. Outlaws with a big lead. Rams got a guy who can put up some points too. Jacob Jessen, one of the best athletes in the state. Money from deep. Team high 23 points, but not enough to counter this guy. It's Stoltz from the corner. He'll drill the three. Game high 30 points, and the Outlaws win big 76. 47. Another boys game to mention, DGS and Centerville. This by far the best game of the afternoon at the 8C tournament. Back and forth we go. Dylan Taylor into the lane. He had 17 points for the Bearcats. On the other end, Carson McGinnis. Look at this tough step back. Drills the three. 18 points for him. Uh, Centerville led by four at half. Parker Donaldson, though, would come alive in the second. Hits from the top of the arc. Game high 21 points for Donaldson. We're tied in the fourth, and the Miners would have an answer. McGinnis, no look pass to Grant Cotton. And he puts Centerville up, and they would escape 60 to 59. Let's blaze through a couple of these scoreboards from other districts. At the uh, 1B, up in Cutbank, Rocky Boy, Shelby, and Shoto Boys all winning today. At the 2B in Malta, Wolf Point and Glasgow advancing to face the top seed Harlem in both the boys and girls brackets. And the 10C in Shelby, there are your winners. Uh, boys on top, girls on bottom. So the semifinal matchups are set for boys and girls. That's all the time we have tonight, everybody.